Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. So today I'm finally am going to open my first Monster High boy doll, Claude Wolf. And I'm very excited. I wanted him for a while, um, but I waited for him to go on sale. So right now, oh, I don't know when I'm going to release this, but he's been going in and out on sale on Amazon. So I'll put a link to the description below. And it's an affiliate link, so if you use that, I'll make a small commission that'll help the channel. Thank you, and you can use that. La. <laughs> you can use that to buy him or buy anything you want. Um, but I'm really excited. Uh, when I saw him, I like the stock images of him. I'm like, oh, I really like him. And then I saw the show. I really like his character on the show. I think the only thing that I wish is in the show he has some like facial hair, and they just haven't given him any facial hair. If I were brave, I would add it, but I am not brave. I don't modify my dolls at all, except change their clothing. That's all I do. I don't even brush their hair. Yeah. So we're gonna open this and review him. And I I think he's worth it. I haven't opened him yet, but if you've seen the show, which it is on DVD now, I'll also put a link to that in the description below, an Amazon link. Um, it's so good. Oh, and the new series has probably started by now since I'll probably release this after March 11th, but it'll, it started March 11th on Nickelodeon. Set your DVR if you haven't yet. Uh, we want this show to continue. Um, my guess is they'll still make dolls even if the show doesn't continue, but it's a really good show. Like, it's really good, guys. So please, please watch it. Please set your DVR to Nickelodeon. If you don't have Nickelodeon, please buy the DVD to at least show support that you do want to watch it and you want season two to come out on DVD. One of these days, I'm going to watch the original Monster High and then make a video on that because I've never seen the original Monster High at all. <laughs> I probably will be like, what is this? Because it'll be so different to me. Um, but I adore the character of Claude. I love his relationship with his sister. It's just so sweet and he's just great. So, okay, sorry, enough uh, blabber and chit chat. We're gonna open this. I'll be right back. He's so cool. He's so cool. Um, I'm hoping you won't hear the TV in the background. You might hear a little bit. I have it on for my dog. Probably should have turned down the volume. Anyway, so if you hear background noise, it's the TV for my dog, so he doesn't realize I'm not with him. <laughs> Do you know what, maybe I will quickly turn it down a bit because it is rather loud, louder than I thought it'd be. So I'll be back and hopefully I'll still be in the same outfit I'm wearing because he won't miss me. We'll find out. Okay, I turned it down. He didn't notice me. He was asleep on the couch. So this is good. <sighs> I've never had a pet before now and I really cater to his whims. Fellow pet owners, do you cater to your dog's or cat's whims? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Back to review, let's look at the accessories. First, I wanna go over Roxina. I hope that's the name, okay, great. Roxina, she looks the exact same as the Draculaura in the park, um, Roxina, like with, cause she has Cat Fabulous and Roxina. So here is the Roxina that came with Claude Wolf. So cute. I wish it was a pug because my dog is a pug, but a bulldog is cute too. Kind of like a gray looking gargoyle bulldog with little wings, pink collar with spikes, black nose, pink eyes looking to a side, a little bit of teeth on its closed mouth. This is the Draculaura in the park one on the right. And then this is the Claude Wolf one. Oh, I think the only difference is the collar with Claude Wolf is like a red or pink, and the one with Draculaura is a pink pink. Interesting. Also, a slight difference. On the back, the Draculaura one has its wings more spread out. The one with Claude Wolf has one of its wings like lopsided to a side. That could just be because of the box, but interesting. Okay, in the silence, I can still hear the, the TV, but I can only turn it down so low before my dog wouldn't pay attention. He comes with they look more yellow in the camera, but they're more orangish yellow sunglasses. A purple, <laughs> a purple water bottle that I was gonna see if the lid can come off and the lid fell off, so the black lid can come off. 
The lid's not the tightest, so don't hold the water bottle by the lid. A red bag of Scariaki. Instead of teriyaki, it's Scariaki. Some kind of power bar or candy bar, I think. I can't read the writing, I'm afraid. Like, it looks like it says soda or Nola. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, the candy bar does have a handle, as does the water bottle. The Scariaki does not. His purple eye coffin in the shape of a wolf head and some texture on the back and then a pixelated screen. This black plastic gym bag that has a gold claw as a keychain and two handles. It has a little slit. Um, does have a slit in the top. I think you probably could put more things in here than other things. And then this purple tank top that has Claude's name on it and then 01 and a little bit of spider web. Whoops, what dropped? His eye coffin. That's okay, he doesn't need it. Um, the spider web design in the top of the tank top. And it has two yellow stripes on the side. Now I had Claude Wolf, medium brown skin, and afro that um, is more on the top of his head. Two wolf ears, and he does have two earrings, gold earrings, one of his ears. Shaved head. On the bottom of his head, I was hoping it was flocked. It was not. It just has painted dark brown hair. Gold eyes. Closed mouth smile. Two teeth. It's really nice Leatherman jacket. Or it looks like a Leatherman jacket anyway. All right. Is it Leatherman or Letterman? I think it's Letterman, actually. Not Leatherman. I had one in high school. I should know what they're called. Because you letter in something. So it's a Letterman jacket. Letterman, yeah. Well, it looks like a Letterman jacket, but like the high school isn't on it. So I guess it's just a jacket in the Letterman style. That is black with a yellow moon, purple claw marks, faux pockets, like just a printed on pink stripe. I think that's supposed to resemble pockets. Printed on yellow buttons. One sleeve is a light green with black scratch marks. The other sleeve is yellow with purple black scratch marks. Oh, and purple moons. That's fun. It looks like he's wearing jeans, but it's not jean material. It has different, uh, like, oh, what's it? Distressed. Hmm. I, I thought of a fashion word. Go me. It has a distressed look and then different printed on claw designs in purple or orange. And then he has purple sneakers with, uh, oh, how fun. <laughs> he has purple sneakers with white molded on shoelaces. And then my camera might pick it up, but like kind of white molded on fur on the tops of his shoes. And then on the bottoms are just like molded on claw marks. And let's take the jacket off. All right. I think you can take the hands off, right? I hope so. Maybe. Yeah, maybe we won't take the hands off, but I'm pretty sure you can't monster high, right? Oh yeah, I'm positive you can take the hands off. They're just not coming off for me. But I want to take them off so you can see the, the tank top that he has underneath the jacket. I mean, I can put on the other tank top on. See, when they don't come off easily, this makes me nervous that maybe they don't come off, but they must, right? Monster High always. Um, I just took off his arm socket. I mean, it's one way to get the jacket off. I hope I can put his arm socket back on. And trying to take off the other one, I took off his arm socket on this one too. So. Yeah, I'm not going to show the struggle anymore. I'm going to pause. So, um, you know, but without his arms, here's what he looks like uh, with the tank top. It's a black tank top with a moon and a hand scratching at the moon. It's printed scratch marks. Um, okay, so I'm going to pause the camera and hopefully be able to get this. I got the jacket off. Let's see if I can put his arm socket back on. I definitely have hurt his hand though. His hand is now a lot looser. Me taking it off, well not taking it off, me trying to take it off. 
All right, let's see. If it's that way, then this should go in here. I really hope I can put it in here. Okay, right? I mean, I hope that's the right way. Okay, one arm socket on. All right, that's the way. Okay, <laughs> make sure I put it correct arm socket on his upper arm. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments. Are their hands supposed to come off? They are, right? Like monster high hands? Or is it just girl monster high hands that their hands are supposed to come off? Or non-binary characters? Like, are monsters monster high hands not supposed to come off? Because, like, I don't know how else to have gotten that leather jacket, leather, letter, Christina, letterman jacket off. But yeah, look how nice he looks. I like the tank top on him. And um, I'm not going to put that jacket back on him. Nope, he is going to go without. Maybe I'll put it on Claudine. She's sporty. So, all right. That was an amazing ordeal. <laughs> now we'll put the other tank top on. Did anyone else have troubles getting a Letterman jacket off of him? <laughs> and can you take the hands off? Please let me know, because I thought you could, but now I'm confused. And um, I'm not putting the, the Letterman jacket back on. Oh, I like this on him too. I think I like the other tank top though better, but here is what the purple basketball tank top looks like, or excuse me, basketball. Casketball, not basketball, casketball. Here's what the purple casketball tank top looks like on him. I think I like the other tank top better. Um, it seems like based on, Christina, what's her name? You have her, you're looking at her, Venus. It seems that based on Venus that we're not getting another article of clothing anymore with the dolls, which I am fine with because like, I don't really need this purple tank top. Um, I didn't really care for the cape that comes with the original Draculaura. The bathing suit for Laguna doesn't match her skin at all. Why did they do that color on? <laughs> so I don't think they need to do another clothing because it's, it's unnecessary in my opinion. Okay, well see, now I kind of want to put the Letterman jacket back on him, but I'm not going to. We're not gonna rip off sockets or hands. Um, cause I kind of like it. I mean, I like this on him, but I think I kind of like the jacket and like everyone else has like a, I don't know, sweater, but I'm not putting it back on. I am not putting it back on. <laughs> so he's just going to have to suffer with like the cold. I think I do want to put it back on, but I'm not going to, um, until if you can tell me in the comments, uh, if his hands do come off. I mean, I guess I could take his arm sockets out again like his lower arm, but um, I don't think you're supposed to do that either. So please let me know in the comments. Oh, the sunglasses, just realized. So this is the sunglasses on him. Oh, he looks cool with the sunglasses. I don't generally like the sunglasses, but to me, uh, Venus's sunglasses look great on her. And I, mean, I really like Claude's sunglasses. Don't look at me. There you go. Yeah, I really like Claude's sunglasses. They look great. So, uh, despite not being able to get his hands off, and again, let me know in the comments. I probably don't need to keep repeating it, but I, I really need to know. <laughs> I do recommend him just be careful when you take off his jacket. And, um, you know, maybe I could have, like, moved his fingers, like, pinched them together, and then that would be able to take the jacket off. Because, I don't know. I don't know if the hands come off. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, oh, let's see what I can put in his gym bag. Probably a good amount. This water bottle, skariaki, candy bar, and the phone. Yeah. So, I do recommend him, and, um, Oh, articulation, sorry. Left, right, up and down, to the side. He has great head articulation. The shoulders. <laughs> he does move at the elbows. Boy, I hope I don't like, there we go. 
the wrist and sit then at the knees and no no ankle articulation and he does have some like tufts of hair at his ankles they're molded on and then a little bit of tuft of hair on his face that kind of keeps the sunglasses don't focus on my face focus on Claude kind of see there we go the tufts of hair right here where his ears would be that will do it for this video <laughs> thank you so much for watching um aside from if his hands come off or not like have you had problems with your monster high dolls i haven't until claude like their arm sockets coming off let me know in the comments below <laughs> thank you again for watching and remember it's okay to like what you like be who you are and stay good at heart i will see you in the next video Bye! Oh yeah, subscribe, share, like, all those good things. <laughs> I always forget to say that. Anyway, bye!